Okay guys, um, I showed you a few months ago um, how to download and install Windows 7 and I realised that link's not working so I thought I'd make another one for you. Um, <coughs> this time I'm on my um, Windows machine which I hate using but there we go. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is uh, download a software called uTorrent. Unfortunately, there is no one link download. You can't just simply click it and it'll download. But this is as easy as it's going to get. Okay, so you go to uTorrent. It's the first link. Click free download for Windows. Click run. Run again. And then you should get a, a window that will come up. Don't worry about them, they're just because Mike was being gay. But yeah, after that then, uh, you want to go to this link, which I'll also put in the description, and just click download this torrent. Click open. I've already got it in there, but you'll get a, a dialog, so just click OK. And it uh, should start downloading. It'll take about two hours or something. As you can see here, we have uh, this one is the cracks seven loader, and this one is the actual ISO which we're going to be burning to with this. Um, to do this, we need software called Image Burn. So we're going to go to Google, type in Image Burn. Uh, this is all free, by the way. Uh, somewhere on here, uh, at the top download, as you can see. So just click download and just use any one of these random links. Sorry, any one of these random links. Come on. Sorry, I didn't see that one. Uh, I should start and just click run. Okay, so it's nearly done here. When it's done, you just want to click Run again. Should do that. Just click Next. Go through with the dialogs. Uh, just leave that as it is. And uh, just click Next. Click Next again. Next again. Uh, I'll take off these here, Nyan. Next again. Just click. Uh, just click no or yes, up to you. Uh, this is Windows 7 Ultimate, by the way. And both versions, uh, which is 32 and 64 bits, you can use uh, them both. Okay, so when you get this, you just want to exit it like that, it's just a little thing. And then you want to click Run Image Burn, as it says there, and click Finish. Should get this little loading thing. Uh, you want to write Image File to Disk. And from here, you want to click this little Open Logo. Go to uh, wherever you downloaded it to. Utah's default one is in My Documents, Downloads and there it is, it should be in here but um, it should be in here but I haven't downloaded it yet so I put mine on the desktop so you just find it, you double click it and there you go uh, you just click this logo here, I haven't got a disk in but you can just click this and it will burn and once it's done, you it will eject, just push it back in uh, you can install it just by going into. This should pop up automatically, by the way. My disk is loading now. Just close over that. Okay, you should get this. You just want to click install now. I don't want to install Windows 7 on you so I'm not going to go through it all with you but it is very easy, they do design them for uh, not so clever people as well 
Okay, and it'll do this. Uh, you just want to go through the whole tutorial. I'm going to end this now. Don't do this in yours, but... Um, so when you have that installed and you're running on Windows 7, fine. Uh, what you want to do is get your pen drive or whatever you saved it to. It probably still will, will still be on your computer if you saved it. And you want to go into... And by the way, if you want to install a uh, whole fresh wipe right around everything, you're going to have to boot from your disk. Uh, you can follow the first couple of minutes of my Hackintosh tutorial. That shows you how to boot from the disk, and the installation is pretty much the same. Um, it will guide you through with everything, and you'll have a fresh install then. But if you're going to upgrade and keep all your documents, this is uh, the tutorial you need to be following. But it's coming up to the end now. Um, when it's done, you'll get a little notification down here too. Uh, you can just right click, click open containing folder. I'm um, sorry, this is after you've installed Windows 7. Uh, you want to go to your loader and uh, double click it, it'll be a zip file. Windows can extract them without WinRAR. Uh, you just want to extract everything here, extract to your desktop or something. Just extract that quickly. Okay, go to the folder, open up the executable file which is a W7LXE. It's actually not letting me open it on Windows. Um, this is because I'm on XP and not uh, Windows 7. But you should open this. So here what you want to do, um, you want to install the safest bootloader and then after that you want to install uh, the OEM key uh, choose your certificate for what computer you're on uh, you can install that too and you can do it with that as well and um, it's not that hard you can just ignore the stuff down here really but uh, the just do these uh, free ones here, uh, make sure that's on the safest and you should be able to do it uh, I, unfortunately I can't go through this bit with you, uh, I am sorry about that but I'm sure you can do it just fine uh, I hope you learned something and this link will never go down hopefully if it does just comment and I'll get another one ok goodbye